Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ollie here and welcome back to another video on the channel helping you ace your med school interviews. So I'm sure that by now many of you in your research about preparing for medical school will have come across the term MMI. So the focus of this video was going to be on addressing what exactly the MMI is and what it means for you. So while most university subjects still use a traditional interview, wherein you and maybe one or several academic tutors uh, will be sat in a room for an hour or more where they ask you questions. It has been realised over the last kind of decade or so that for many subjects, including medicine, that this approach does not allow adequate assessment of all the particular skills that a university might be interested in, at least as far as the course is concerned. And it was found in these subjects, particularly medicine, that performance at interview did not correlate very well with performance throughout the course, as it might do for many other subjects. So in response to this problem, the MMI, or Multiple Mini Interview System, was developed, and this consists of several discrete stations, each of which target a particular skill, or maybe a couple of skills, and these are considered much more reliable as a measure of suitability for medical performance. And this is why more universities are starting to adopt this over the traditional interview system, particularly in recent years. They tend to be a lot less academic in their focus and are much more about seeing how candidates react organically when presented with a new situation. They don't take much academic preparation. So for example, a typical station might use an actor role-playing a patient in a GP surgery and you, as the candidate, might be tasked with interviewing them and finding out what's wrong with them. Or you might be asked to talk to a current medical student, maybe a second year, of that particular university and asked to talk to them about their time so far. There really is no end to the different tasks that MMIs could present candidates with, but they are always marked to a predetermined scheme so that every candidate has a fair playing field. So MMIs are taken in a rotation by candidates across a fixed number of stations. So for example, the entire interview process might last an hour, and it might contain six stations, so you'll take ten minutes to complete each station. And in most cases, each of these independent stations is marked completely discreetly from one another. And information is not carried between them, it's a fresh interview, a fresh mini-interview, every time, and that means that a bad performance at one will not negatively affect your marks at another one, and vice versa for a strong performance. A strong performance at one station will not be enough to save many concurrent bad performances, if that makes sense. So usually the way they go is that there is one or two core skills that are going to be assessed in that station, so that might be something like logical reasoning or empathy, things like that. So a STEM question would usually be asked as standard to every single candidate in exactly the same way, which will assess the skill that is the focus of the station, and then there will be several probing questions available to the interviewer to get more detail out of you and start to separate out candidates for finer degrees of market. And so basically a mixture of STEM and probe questions will be asked of each candidate until the time elapses, after which all the candidates will move on to the next station. So as far as some basic advice for preparing for MMI goes, the big thing that I would say is get some mock interview practice with people who understand the way it works. This could be an admissions tutor from your school, or somebody that you know who's maybe already at medical school, I think with this kind of thing, you should really be looking to find people that know how an MMI works. Unlike a traditional interview where an answer to a question, you know, could be teased out of you over an hour, or 90 minutes say, in this you're maybe looking at no more than 10 minutes, you've got to be able to give a thoughtful and well-developed answer to the question that you are asked within a very, very short time frame. And on that same note, while many of the questions that you could be asked, which could be about your, you know, your reasons for becoming a doctor, why do you want to be a doctor, what would you do if you couldn't go to medical school, all those sorts of questions could appear in an MMI as well as in a traditional interview, but you've got much less time to think about it in an MMI. So it's important to think through as many of these potential answers as possible beforehand. 
And another thing I'll say is if you are presented with a scripted situation, like the example I gave of a patient role play in a GP surgery, it is absolutely imperative to listen very, very carefully to everything they say, even things like body cues, just subtle little throwaway things. Just listen, open your mind and listen. This was the mistake that I made. I made an assumption about the person in my role play based on their physical appearance. That was a mistake. Imagine them as some sort of amorphous blob, if you can, like Morph from um, Smart or Art Attack or whatever it was, the clay figure. Just try and go in with no preconceived notions and listen and watch very, very carefully. I made a mistake, um, as I say, in this way and realised as soon as I'd gotten out of the room, no more than like five minutes later, the exact mistake I'd made, but by then it was too late. So just be careful. But ultimately, as with any interview, prepare as thoroughly as you can with as many practice questions as you can get hold of, get a good night's sleep the night before, and when test day comes round, just be comfortable. The people there aren't trying to interrogate you. Get a good night's sleep the night before, have something to eat on the morning of the interview, or beforehand if it's in the afternoon, and just be as comfortable as possible. The interviewers are not trying to interrogate you, or purposefully get rid of you. They want the best candidates, obviously, that they can get their hands on. Just be yourself, be open, be honest, and do the best you can. So thanks guys, we've come to the end of another video. This was focusing on what exactly the MMI is for all prospective medical students. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and go ahead and check out www.postgradmedic.com for more videos and more helpful articles including sample questions and guide answers that you can take with you to use for your med school interview. Best of luck.